is mugwort. Now, a lot of times you will see these as burnable sages. Uh, they'll be with uh, white sage, and they'll be in bundles, and you can use them for smudges uh, to clear things out. But most time, mugwort is excellent for asthma, allergies, and clearing congestion, drying it out, and actually helping the mucus to break up and move out of the bronchial tubes. So it governs over the lungs and all your bronchial system. So you want your upper respiratory through your nervous system. And so mugwort is, when you look at it, Caspian's uh, <laughs> helping us identify mugwort. Mugwort, if you look at it, it, at first you may even think it's wild strawberry because if you notice the leaves, the way they grow, they're like a strawberry and they're fuzzy, but they're very soft and velvety and they have this beautiful velvety feel. So you, uh, if you're walking around and you can't find any mullein, then you could use mugwort in your shoes and that will resolve the soreness in, on your feet oh. and you can tie them onto your feet but they're so small a lot of times you have to put them in your shoe soles and you could use that but what's wonderful about mugwort is it is used for many many ailments anything govern your upper respiratory nervous system bronchial system and the benefits of it are vast so when you find it do collect it and put it into bundles tight with some uh, cotton thread and they will dry and when when they dry you can bundle them if you want to but a lot of times do them when they're moist because they're soft and velvety they're just fun to work with and you can make your smudges and your bundles for your whether it be clearing the air um giving offerings or is or for your altars and things of that nature if any of you do that as well as clearing up your sinuses and bronchial system and keep you healthy because even during the summer months when it's high humidity in North Carolina, it's difficult to breathe and it's a matter of getting the inflammation down, the swelling and the pressure that builds up in our sinus cavities. So you can take the mugwort and it will last if you make a bundle out of the longer leaves, leave the little ones to grow out longer and so all the short ones leave them alone but the longer ones the more mature adult leaves go ahead and bundle them up and you can burn it a little at a time because you won't need a lot i mean just a few minutes of hoofing and breathing that in and letting it circulate in the air and it will just bring that swelling right down all that inflammation your nose will start running and all that mucus will loosen up and move out so it's excellent spring and summer a lot of times people will gather this time of year because come summer it'll be dry and you won't be able to find it. So go ahead and get it now so you have it for later. And mugwort is just, it's real easy to identify. If you go and you look, you'll notice that his arm comes out and then his leaves start coming out. So he'll have one at the end and then just, they'll be side by side. See how the they go up the stem and they're side by side. And if you look, they got the hairs on them and even their stem is fuzzy. And they're just real soft and downy, just like cotton. And so you can tell because their leaves grow side by side and they come out with little, uh, about three little peaks or two to three peaks on each leaf. And here's a new one coming up behind it. See how it's bunched, bunched up and growing shoots from the center? Mm -hmm. But it lays flat to the ground. I mean, it's so flat and the, the stem is flat as a flitter. It's very flat like a rope. And it's just really flat, no roundness to it. And it lays real close to the ground. It crawls on the ground as it, has, it grows. And it has some blossoms on it. Yes, these are new ones coming up right there. And it will have a little yellow. I don't want to disturb it. It'll have a yellow bloom in the center, right in the dead center. There's one right there. And then there's. So those are just the bundles of leaves. But that one's actually a, a yellow bloom. It will shoot out of the center of it. And that one's...